Hello, everybody. It is your Black Knight. And this is a little bit... Eh, it's a little bit of a vanity piece, really. We're just going to go through my garages, figure out which cars I should keep, which ones I should get rid of. That kind of thing. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just do it one garage at a time so they don't get oppressive. Oppressively long. And we'll just go from there. Let's go first person. Here we are. We're up here. Let me tell you where we're at, number one. Do -do 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 -do. Up here at my beautiful house in Polito Bay. This is a, a, a property I have just so that I have a place to park and a place to hide up here in Polito Bay if I'm ever doing anything. Yes, there is a... Uh, or what you might call it, a facility over yonder there. But I, it's, for the longest time, I don't even know if I still have a place to sleep in that place. So this is the closest bed, I think. I don't know if I upgraded that or not. But the facility, may, we'll, we'll be at the facility at some point. But anyway, we're looking at these cars now. I suppose we could look at the facility in the same video. It's right over there. But anyway, here we have the six-car garage, which, by the way... Let's look at this again. One door, two doors. Space for six cars. Let's go outside. Clearly, one door. And no physical possible way that you could get six cars in there. No, none whatsoever. This is a TARDIS of some nature. You can't peek in. But there's no way, unless, unless this is really a, a passageway to an underground fortified garage that's underneath all this, which is not what, it, don't get me wrong, I don't want them to turn it into a two-car garage. I like it as a six-car. This is not a complaint about game mechanics. It's just pointing out the simple and humorous physics of the game. All right, so let's look at the cars. Uh, here we have our Rusty Rebel, which I, I like the style on this. I mean, I don't think it's terribly effective as a vehicle overall, but there is a something kind of cool about you know, the, the, the roughed up sheet metal kind of thing. I could see myself at some point getting rid of it and just getting one on the Rusty Jack character because it would kind of fit his character more, but that's work. And I do like that. I have had it for a long time. I do like to cruise around it every once in a while just for, just for style points. You can see really clearly here how they've changed the design of the off-road tires, so they're less mud tires and more off-roady. That's, that's kind of nice, and it looks a little bit more reasonable. Then we have our our BF injection here. I like the injection. I, I really do. It's one of my favorite off-road kind of cars. This has the old-style kind of off-road tires in the back, because it's the true mud-flap mudders. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to hang on to that one. Real quick. I'm, I'm, again, quite fond of that. This is the dune buggy that I used to get my very rare naked dune buggy. It doesn't have any of the panels on it. That's in a different garage. And because I used it to get the other one, well, this would be the one I cruise around in. I could probably do without this, but it was, it was you know, a tool to get something rare. So, why, you know, I feel like I owe it that much. Keep it in the garage. What the hey. Now, this Landstalker. I don't remember the specific circumstances, but this Landstalker got me out of a jam somewhere along the line. And I thought, well, hey, it'd be kind of a nice role-play thing. Here's the nice car for the garage. If you just want to go out looking normal and drive around and you go to church and pick up some groceries, it's the grocery getter. As far as game functionality or, like, me ever driving this, really? No, not really going to happen. So this could be this could be something we convert to cash at some point. Not a lot of cash. It's a slow, plain Jane SUV that may go bye bye. That might be a thing that goes bye bye. It's not, not necessarily immediately. I'm thinking about it, but that's on the block. And then we have, of course, you know, a Meriwether Mesa, which I had to be attacked by. Somebody to get this. I someone someone called the the Mercs on me, and I killed them all, and I stole their car, and that's that. Um, 
Or I called them the mercenaries on someone else, and then when they got killed, I went and I stole the car again. I don't remember what the story was on this. I think it's in a video somewhere. But we have this one. That's Meriwether Mesa. And, of course, my Camacho. That's that's a keeper. That, the Camacho is really a nice ride. And that's that's just a good truck to have. We I, I like this one a lot. It's fast. And so there we have We can check the... Um, insured, insured... The Mesa's not insured. How did we screw that up? All right, we have to get that and insured. Everything is insured but that. Well, let's fix this right now. I'm not letting that go. I'm in a, a closed crew session, so I don't have to worry about somebody in, like, you know, an oppressor mark douche flying down on me. Let's get that. Yeah, we'll do. We'll get this insured, and then we'll zip over to the other garage. And again, this is this is one of those things that where it's a collectible. I must have gotten this money. I was me. Something happened up here. I put it in the garage and I never took it out. Which is another reason I should probably get rid of the land stock unless I can find another home for it. Because you know, there's always could be something better that you get. And what brings you in today? Let's go. Insure me. Yay, we're insured. Do we want to dump the land stalker thing on? I don't know. You know what? Let me it's it's not worth any money. So let's just it's like that's gonna be like what, six thousand? Not worth hardly anything. So let's see if there's anything else we want to get rid of. Because you can only get rid of one per game. I mean, it's... Oh, no. Okay, well, we, no, we don't want to do that. So this is a full facility. We don't want to do that. We'll park that there and we'll walk in. For the facility tour. Let's can see if we have a bed in there, too. I mean, if I really want to, I could just trade out my six-car garage here for a ten-car and get four more spaces, but I really don't want to. I like that property. I like that property. It's my property. And we've got the Avenger. Let's take a look around. Doo -doo -doo. First of all, the Avenger. You gotta love the Avenger. We have that going for us. Don't walk into the yellow and then have to walk back in and back out again and blah, blah, blah. Chair in a bog. Got that puppy on sale somewhere along the line. Very good at smashing into things. It's really good at that. And, of course, we've got ourselves a weaponized Tampa. This car, you know, it's one of those that kind of grows on me. I always forget to drive it. And yet, every time I do drive it, I have a really, you know, I really enjoy the car. I like this one. So, I have to... I always remind myself I have to use that car more. Here we have logically something I could get rid of because it's been completely obsolescenced by the uh, the custom pickup version of the Insurgent. But this is my original White Elephant Insurgent, and I'm going to keep it because there's too many good memories with it. I do love that car. I just it's it's one of those. Hey, I don't have to get rid of it, so therefore I'm not getting rid of it. And then we have. You know, a, a Duke of Death, this is just, you know, back when I could first get Duke of Deaths for free, when I got the, the accounts merged, I got a bunch of Duke of Deaths. I figured, hey, you know, at the time, it was useful to have a Duke of Death in every garage in case you had to go out and you needed an armored car. And I, that's kind of been obsolesced by, you know, newer and different vehicles. These aren't as useful as they once were, but, I mean, they're still nice. I mean... I, I'm not really tempted to get rid of it. I kind of like the paint job. There's effort put into it. If we're not under pressure to get rid of it, it's going to stay. Let's run across the other side. Do, 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 Aha! Thruster. Thruster is very cool. Got the candy cane paint job going there. Very Christmassy. Half track. I don't think I've even done much with this half track. I don't know if it's gotten a lick of modifications. It doesn't have the, the quad guns on the top. 
but still, half track's a thing to have. That there's no question there's a use for it. And I think that's one of those things where it's not even in. I think it's in its own kind of spot here. I don't know if it has if it's taking up a parking space or not. But either way, we keep the half track. My grandfather uh, was apparently driving a half track in World War II. Uh, when uh, the front end got hit by a German 88. And he survived that without any kind of injury, which shows you exactly what a lucky man and how blessed and protected my grandfather was during his life, God rest him. So he lived, he lived into his uh, mid-70s. And so God, God bless him, God rest him. I miss him every day. But yeah, I, whenever I see a half-track, I think of Pop. Then, of course, we have Beachcomber. of my Beachcomber Blue, Crew Blue, Dune Buggy here. This never leaves anything. I drive the Doom Buggy enough in missions. I don't really need to drive Beachcomber. I do wish I could drive Beachcomber in missions, though. This is this is great. I love the color on it. It's truly like one of those Transformers kind of things where... Yes, that's Beachcomber. That's how it should be. It's coolness. The Kinjali doesn't really need an introduction. The only thing I can point out about this is I kept the original gun... I did not put the rail gun out simply because we could have more candy canes. And so I can kind of maintain that Tron tank look. You put the rail gun on, it changes the uh, the look of the main cannon. I like the look of the original cannon. I know the rail gun is technically in situations more powerful, but if you're just popping somebody with it, quick quick fire, it's all the same, I think. So we're, we're going to leave that as it is until someday when I get completely moved to get uh, the rail gun on it. And continuing with the Christmassy kind of themes, here we have, you know, the uh, the APV, the the amphibian. Again, it's another vehicle that has so many different uses, and I never really drive it. But it's here. I'm happy it's here. I'm happy it looks so green and red and Christmassy. Then we have just a, what looks like just a regular Granger, but this is one of those where I think it's from... What mission? It's from one of the missions where you're chased by cars in black. The men in black come for you. Let's see the security guys. It might be from one of the blow-up missions. I might have shot those guys out and driven it home. You can do that. I believe. I think so. I've gotten a few of those. So this is this is a car that I've, you can't get normally. It's one that you have to capture from NPCs. Uh, let's see. Is it insured? Not insured! It's another one that's not insured. Let's check our insurances. Well, obviously, all those are insured because they're purchased. We have to fix our insurances because we need to have some assurances. All those are purchased. So what am I doing? The only thing that could be that needs to be driven out, we're going to do it now, is this puppy. We're going to get this thing insured. Insurance. It's only a thing we need to get for this car. Insurance. Boop. Again, is it a great car? Eh, no. Is there anything really special about it except for the fact that you can't get it? No. Same thing with the Mesa, really. Full bar our way through there. But that was always a thing for me, was you know, capturing cars from NPCs, especially the old Vice City. I wish nothing's been done with this at all. Well, let's just get coverage on it. I'm not going to trick it out. Now, there will be, you know, some cars later, Patriots specifically, that you will find I am not going to insure because if you take them now, ever since they updated the Patriot with that, you know, that different light bar available, if you take some of them into the mod shops, certain elements of them get stripped out. And so it's actually, they're just a nice rare vehicle to have in the configuration that they're in. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Where am I going? I'm going to the wrong place. You're, you're riding with me. You're not telling you saying, hey, Black Knight, where are you going? You're going to the wrong garage. That garage is full. Although, you know what? Truth be told, I could get rid of the Landstalker and then use this as my Sunday go to meeting. Or in that direction. Eh. 
This is the top secret men in black, you know, Mary Weather, whoever comes after you, Agent 14, friends, you know, security, blah blah car. It's, it's trying to kill me at some point and I shot them all up and then took their car. So we'll keep that hidden in the facility. Ranger. That's cool. Come on down. You're the next contestant. On. The insurance is done. All right, so we get out of here. Check it again. Insured. Yay. And that. No, I think that's enough for. Me this video. That's enough of a tour. There'll be more of these coming about in the near future as we try to decide the fate of the fleet here. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.